you're going to taste two types of rice today. You'd notice that they're in covered cups. Mm -hmm. So first thing you have to do is smell them. Uh, you're going to smell, um, there should be some smells you're going to detect, like does it have a floral scent? Mm -hmm. huh. Do you smell something floral? No. No. Um, I think my senses are not developed enough to do that kind of fine-tuned <laughs> sensing. Mm -hmm. But do you but find a difference in smell between both of them? Yeah, there's some difference, yes, okay. I would say. Yeah. Which one's more pleasant? Um, a, maybe, okay. for me. I would say A as well. A as okay. well. It has, um, yeah, I wouldn't say floral, but mm -hmm. it had a lighter flavor. This one had, yeah. to me, a more... Uh, um, yeah, almost yes. a dusty flavor. Yeah. Dusty, yeah. Starchy, yeah. Yeah. hay-like yeah. 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 smell. I, I agree. Yeah. Hay would yeah. be the word. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. there you go. No sewer animal type. No, it no, didn't smell like a animal. sewer, no. Oh, no, no. Did, no. That's no. always a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> for, uh, yeah. okay. All right, so after smelling, uh, we, we're also going to taste the rice. Mm -hmm. So just get a few, few pieces first. Okay. Mm. And feel the roughness of the green surface on your tongue. And feel which which one is rougher between the two of them. I should have a cup to spit in. No, I'd say B. You say it's B? Mm-hmm. No, B is definitely rougher. Mm -hmm. Now this is what's it really interesting to me about the um, what we've been learning about rice uh, quality is how important its feel in the mouth is. Not just whether it's smooth or rough, but how springy it is, mm -hmm. uh, how resistant it is. Does it feel slippery? Does it feel sticky? And, it, it's a, and most people don't really think about it but as they eat they can certainly tell what they like yeah I agree I mean I've probably never really paid that much attention to that you know um, as a well, not a really um, expert rice consumer I wouldn't say that I am but uh, once you know and once you I think uh, pay the right attention to it you will determine quite some interesting differences and that explains a lot to why consumers in different parts of the world have that different preferences for rice. And so right. I think uh, it's very easy to actually determine that once you know what you're looking for. You know, so. and, I, and I think that's what makes this work in this laboratory so important is that when a breeder goes through all the trouble to develop a variety and then it goes out and uh, it goes to a miller or a farmer and they eat it and they say, ah, we don't like it. Well, that doesn't help you very much. Yeah. You need to be able to understand what about it the, the consumers don't like and usually the consumer is not really able to articulate it specifically either and that, I think that's the purpose for developing these uh, really pretty complex uh, categories of, of describing the quality of the rice and to a certain extent quantifying it using uh, panels of a dozen or so tasters and then you can get some quantification of the differences and then you can help build a program to to systematically improve the quality or at least direct work towards quality of different types. So Rocky, what is it what we're eating here? Can you tell us what the what those two are? Yeah. A is Kaudok Mali, mm -hmm. Jasmine Rice. Yep. And yep. B is Apple. Apple. Ah. Mm -hmm. So um, this is um, a highly priced one. Yeah. Ar aromatic rice. Yeah. Um Apple is um, drought Tolerant. Is tolerant. This is this is what local variety. Bingo. What's really interesting is that uh, what, this is the one that the probably sets the internet one of the international market yeah. standards. Oh, yeah. While Apo uh, is um, not is not all that great eating wise relative to uh, Kaldak Mali, but uh, is a donor for some very important traits yeah. that will go into rice varieties. And so this is the, I think this right here sets the dilemma for the breeders, is we've got a great tasting variety, and we've got a variety that maybe not be so great tasting, but it's got great other characteristics that we want to get in. 
and how to do that in a way you want to re you want to retain the, the the great quality you want to bring in something without bringing in its bad yeah. quality